Now for this story, Jews around the world mark the time of sacrifice and repentance tonight. It's the beginning of Yom Kippur. CBS 2's Scott Rappaport with a story of this solemn and sacred holiday. It is the holiest day of the Jewish year. It's a day of, of intense prayer. Yom Kippur. It makes you take a step back and look at your life. The Day of Atonement. We're really pushed to think about and reflect about how we behaved in all of our interactions over the past year in hopes of being able to be better in the year to come. Starting at sundown and continuing through sundown Saturday, observant Jews throughout the tri-state and around the world will refrain from working, refrain from eating. They'll be fasting and attending synagogue to pray and repent for their sins of the past year. Hoping to be inscribed for blessing in the Book of Life. Yom Kippur is also seen as a judgment day, right? We're being asked to think and reflect about our actions, but God is thinking and reflecting about our actions too. In the Jewish tradition, at the conclusion of Yom Kippur, each person's fate for the coming year is sealed. During the services, there will be the blowing of the shofar, a ram's horn, which Rabbi Josh Dorsch from the Bethel Synagogue in New Rochelle says serves as a wake-up call. It's one thing to be sorry. It's another thing to be sorry and then recognize and take the steps we need to do to be different, to not make the same mistakes again. A solemn time of reverence and reflection for the faithful. In a way, it's almost like New Year's resolutions. And it gives you an opportunity to try to make things right and go forward on a good year. As is said in Hebrew, Gemar Hatima Tova, may you be inscribed in the Book of Life. Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News. Yom Kippur completes the annual period of Judaism known as the High Holy Days that started with Rosh Hashanah.